Good morning. The intentions for this Mass is for Mike Stanton. Our celebrant is Father Lamar Parton. Good morning and welcome to Santa Catalina for the celebration of the daily Eucharist. We begin as we do all things in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us first acknowledge our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have Absolutely. greatly sinned. In my and thoughts and in my words and what I have done, done what I have failed to do, through my I fault, fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, our refuge in every danger, to whom we turn in our distress, in faith we pray, look with compassion on the afflicted, grant eternal rest to the dead, comfort to mourners, healing to the sick, peace to the dying, strength to healthcare workers, wisdom to our leaders, and the courage to reach out to all in love, so that together we may give glory to your holy name. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Israel is a luxuriant vine whose fruit matches its growth. The more abundant his fruit, the more altars he built. The more productive his land, the more sacred pillars he set up. Their heart is false. Now they pay for their guilt. God shall break down their altars and destroy their sacred pillars. If they would say, we have no king, since they do not fear the Lord, what can the king do for them? The king of Samaria shall disappear like foam upon the water. The high places of Avon shall be destroyed, the sin of Israel. Thorns and thistles shall overgrow their altars. Then they shall cry out to the mountains, cover us, and to the hills, fall upon us. Sow yourselves justice. Reap the fruit of piety. Break up for yourselves a new field, for it is time to seek the Lord, till he come and rain down justice upon you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm. Seek always the face of the Lord. Seek always the, the face, face of, of the, the Lord. Lord. Sing to him. Sing his praise. Proclaim all his wondrous deeds. Glory in his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Seek, seek always the, the face, face of, of the Lord. Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought, his portents and the judgments he has uttered. Seek, seek always, always the, the face, face of, of the Lord. Lord. Your descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones. He is the Lord our God. Throughout the earth his judgments prevail. Seek, Seek always, always the, the face, face of, of the Lord. Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia, 
Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus summoned his 12 disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to drive them out and to cure every disease and every illness. The names of the 12 apostles are these. First, Simon called Peter and his brother Andrew, James the son of Zebedee and his brother John, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew the tax collector, James the son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus, Simon the Cyrenian, the Canaan, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed Jesus. Jesus sent out these twelve after instructing them thus, Do not go into pagan territory or into a Samaritan town. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. The Gospel of the Lord. You now, my 24 years as a redemptress, one of the most difficult ministries that I've had to attempt to do was the work of vocation minister, going out trying to recruit young men to enter the congregation. You know, it's not so much of not wanting to live a life of prayer because they want that. It's not so much that they mind making the sacrifice of never marrying. You know, they are actually willing to give that up. The hardest hurdle usually for many of the guys when they're looking at a missionary congregation is this willingness to leave their family and their friends, to leave the comfort of home. This going out into the unknown, this reaching out to a people that do not receive the gospel as good news. Yet, brothers and sisters, Jesus continues to call, just as he did when he walked the roads of Judea. His call is one of courage. Christ calling us to step out of our comfort zone. Christ calls us to reach out to those who are hurting. Christ calls us to comfort those who are fearful. Christ calls us to reach out and loosen the bonds of those in chains. Jesus calls us every single day, challenging us, how are we going to respond to that call? Brothers and sisters, God has promised to listen to our prayers brought in humility. Let us ask God to hear these needs. For the church, created by divine mercy, may it never lose sight of its human frailty and need for humility before God and the world. We pray to the Lord. For our country, that the gifts of democracy and freedom not be abused by those in our land who control power and privilege, we pray to the Lord. For all who exalt themselves by oppressing the weak, as well as those truly humbled, who know their need for God, we pray to the Lord. For those disheartened by suffering, or who have grown weary in the struggles of this life, especially during COVID-19, we pray to the Lord. For those ravaged by terminal illnesses, that they receive the grace to endure and remain faithful to our Lord to the end. We pray to the Lord. For all who have died, especially those stricken by the cruelties of starvation and war, may they find lasting joy in heaven. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the repose of the soul of Mike Stanton, for whom this Mass is offered this morning, that he may know the fullness of the kingdom of God 
And we remember his wife, Beth, as well, that the Lord will comfort her in her mourning. We pray to the Lord. For those who are fighting the bighorn fire for their safety, for any property that may be at risk, we pray to the Lord. God of all merciful, hear us as we acknowledge our deep dependence on your mercy. Cleanse us of our sins, heal our petitions, and fill our need. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Our Mother, perpetual help, pray for us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquities, cleanse me from my sins. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Let us pray. Accept, O Lord, the gifts we offer in this time of peril. May they become for us by your power a source of healing and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Edward, our Bishop, and all the clergy, all the religious, and all your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Today we remember our brother, Mike Stanton. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, our perpetual help, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Santa Catalina and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. May the mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy, be for me protection of mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. May the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Our communion antiphon. Come to me, all who labor and are burdened, and I refresh you, says the Lord. Our spiritual communion prayer from St. Alphonsus Liguori. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart 
I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O God, from whose hand we have received the medicine of eternal life, grant that through this sacrament we may glory in the fullness of heavenly healing through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go forth in peace. Our novena prayers in honor of our Mother Perpetual help in response to the COVID-19 situation. Mother Perpetual help. With the greatest confidence, we come before your holy picture to beseech your intercession. We thank of you, Mother, at the foot of the cross. Your heart must have bled to see your son in agony, but your joy was great when he rose from the dead, victorious over the powers of evil. Mother of sorrows, pray for us in this time of trial. Help us not to lose heart. And see for your people who are afflicted with coronavirus. Comfort your people who are vulnerable and anxious. Protect health care workers who put their lives at risk. Inspire our leaders to make good decisions. Change our hearts so that we may act responsibly. Teach us to trust in God's love and mercy and to share with you the joy of having courageously faced up to all the challenges of life. Amen. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave Maria.